Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about a DualSense wireless controller like the one that you see right here that is not working on a PC or a different type of computer. I'll be going over some easy fixes in this simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. So essentially, if you have a DualSense wireless controller for a PS5 like this, you can actually connect it and use it as a gaming uh, controller on a PC or various other types of uh, sort of computers and devices like that. If it's not connecting and if it's not working, these are some things that you can do. These are five things that you can try out. Number one is to make sure that the PC is Bluetooth capable. Now, <clears throat> I know you might think that your computer is Bluetooth capable, you might assume so, but you really wanna make sure that it is. A lot of PCs, even being newer, aren't Bluetooth capable, believe it or not. So make sure that your PC is capable of Bluetooth. That's number one, okay? Goes without being said, but I would say it anyway. It's just because you might make the assumption uh, that it is Bluetooth capable when in reality it might not be. If not, if that doesn't help you move on to number two, which is to make absolutely sure that the PC has Bluetooth turned on. Maybe your PC is Bluetooth capable, but maybe you have it turned off because you want it to sort of uh, make your PC run at like a lower rate and sort of uh, save your, your computing power and so forth. Okay, so make sure that Bluetooth has been turned on on the PC. Definitely go to your Bluetooth settings, make sure it's on and it's able to discover other devices. If that doesn't help you out and it's already turned on, and Bluetooth is already turned on, move on to number three, which is to try turning off the controller and then back on. Now, when you're using this with a PS5, you can easily go into the console settings and turn off the controller and turn it back on. When you're using it with uh, a non-PS5 device, you have to turn off the uh, controller manually. Um, to do that, and I'm, try I'm trying to jog my memory here, but as far as I remember, you hold down the PS button and the menu button over here. So the PS button over here and the menu button over here together for like 10 to 15 seconds. That's the best of my memory, but go and look it up because there's a way to do it. I think that's how you do it, but it's been a long time since I've done it or even looked it up. Um, I did it a few times to try it out and I looked it up a long time ago oh, quite a while ago not that long ago but it was quite a while ago but that's how i think you do it as far as i remember so try turning off the controller and then turning it back on sometimes you just need to reset some technological devices and that solves the problems if that doesn't help you out move on to number four if you still can't connect to the pc which is number four is did you put the controller in bluetooth discovery mode <clears throat> in order to connect this controller to your pc or any other device you need to put it in bluetooth discovery mode it's really really easy to do you just hold down the ps button and this share slash create button over here for a few moments until you see the light bar start to flash so check this out i'm gonna hold them both down together just like that and the light bar will begin to sort of pulsate and that lets you know that it's in bluetooth discovery mode okay so right now it's hard to see but it is flashing and pulsating okay you want to make sure that it's in bluetooth discovery mode or else your pc will not be able to find the controller if that doesn't help you out, you're going to move on to step number five, which is to restart the PC itself to see if that helps. <clears throat> Believe it or not, restarting something, even unplugging the PC and plugging it back in to completely give it a hard reset, um, like, you know, like really just, you know, unplug your PC and plug it back in. I, I don't know if it's recommended, but I would even do it while it's running to give it a hard reset, okay? That sometimes will sort out any kinks. Now, do that at your own discretion because I know some people recommend avoiding it. Some people recommend doing it. So it's sort of a hit or miss area, but definitely try it out. Um, because, uh, you know, try restarting your PC, even just by the menu restarting it, because hopefully that will help you um, actually uh, get this to connect your PC. Sometimes you just need to restart it. And that's it. Those are the five things that you can try out. Hopefully one of them works for you. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.